So last night, the Packers 2024 schedule was finally released, and we went over some of the games that had been leaked earlier in the day, but now we have the entire schedule to go over. And so what I want to do in this video is give my final record prediction for the Packers and go through each game, say which games I think will be wins, which games will be losses, and give my overall takeaways on this schedule. And the Packers do have a much tougher schedule than they had last season. I believe they have 10 games against opponents who last year had a better than 500 record. But there are tons of, I mean, really exciting matchups here for the Packers in 2024. And I'll throw it up right here. Here's from Packers.com, the official Packers 2024 schedule, which I'm guessing most of you have already seen. And just a few takeaways before I go game by game and give my prediction on whether it's a win or a loss. There are five primetime games. I'm pretty sure it was also five primetime games last year. They, the Packers do have a week 10 bye, which I do like. It's on November 10th, right before they play the Bears 49ers. And I sort of like that it's almost a little bit more than halfway through the season because the Packers can have a week to rest up after having, you know, nine games. And then in the 10th week, have that bye, get some rest to then go ready to, you know, finish off the rest of the season and hopefully, you know, make that push into the playoffs. And the other interesting one is where the Packers play the 49ers and Dolphins within four days. Luckily, both of those games are going to be at home. So I guess it makes it a little bit easier because there's no travel, but that's still two tough opponents within four days. So now let's go through the whole schedule. Week one at Philadelphia Eagles in Brazil, but the Eagles are the home team. I'm going Packers start off with a win, start off with a bang. Um, I think that the Eagles are a good team. They sort of, you know, sputtered a little more down the stretch last year. And I think the Packers are a better team. I think Jordan Love is a better quarterback than Jalen Hurts. Packers win week one. Week two, at home first game against, or first home game against the Indianapolis Colts. I'm saying Packers win that one as well. The Colts are a fine team. I think the Packers are a better team. It is at home. So we'll give that one to the Packers. So starting off 2-0. Then week three, we travel to Tennessee to face off against the Titans. The Titans don't really scare me. Um, I think that in years past, they had a really nice, solid defensive line that could, you know, really stop the run and, and cause problems for the Packers. But I think the Packers win that one 3-0. So it's a good start to the season. And then our first NFC North rival at home against the Minnesota Vikings, who I think there's a little bit of uncertainty there with their quarterback situation. Will J.J. McCarthy become a, a you know, solid QB in the NFL? Time will tell. But I think at home against the Vikings, who think the Packers are better, 4-0. So it's a nice start to the season for the Packers, winning their first four games. Now here we go to Los Angeles to face off against the Rams. And I think this one's going to be a loss for the Packers. I think, you know, having an away game in Los Angeles, the Rams, you know, they've been up and down at times. But they, I think they made the playoffs last year. And so I'm going Packers lose that one. So starting off 4-1, not too bad if you start off 4-1. Then the next, we got two home games in a row. We got the Arizona Cardinals on October 13th. I think the Packers win that one. The Cardinals should be getting better, you know, with, you know, getting Marvin Harrison in there. And, um, but I think the Packers win that one in, what week is that? Is that six? Is that, so that's five and one. And then we have a game that's going to be very exciting at home again versus the Houston Texans October 20th at noon. I'm going to say the Texans win that game. I just think when you look at the Packers' home schedule, I'm giving them one home loss. I think that, you know, they have the advantage there, clearly, at Lambeau Field. And this is a much different Packers team than when we started the season last year. But uh, I think it's going to be a close game. Texans win that one. So that is... I'm losing track here. Is that 5-2? and two? I think that's 5-2, and two, if I'm not mistaken. Then the next week, at Jacksonville, another noon game. So three straight noon games right there. There's a lot of noon games to start the season. Then there's a more primetime night games near the end of the season. But at the Jaguars, I think the Packers pull off that win on October 27th. So that is, is that seven games? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's eight. So what's that? Six and two? I think that's six and two because I have them losing to the Texans and Rams. So six and two to start the year. Pretty solid. Then at home against Detroit, I think the Packers win that game. We saw them last year. The Lions beat the Packers the first time around. The Packers came back second time, and that's when they really... Started to get on that winning streak to end off the season. And I think the Packers win at home. That's a 325 game. So 7-2 and two going into the bye. The Packers will, feel, will be feeling pretty good about themselves. And then after the bye, we face off at the Chicago Bears. So the first time Jordan Love will be facing off against Caleb Williams in Chicago. 
I do think the Bears will be much better. I think that they've done a lot to improve their roster, specifically at quarterback. And he is going to be a rookie, but I think he's very talented. But I still think the Packers will win that game. Jordan Love keeping the you know the winning streak alive against the Chicago Bears. Now, here's going to be a really fun stretch to end the year. Facing off against the San Francisco 49ers on November 24th. We, of course, lost to them in the playoffs. It was a close one. Packers had a chance. Couldn't, couldn't finish it off. But I think the Packers will get their revenge. It's at home, which is different than the playoffs. And I think the Packers will come into that game, you know, wanting to, you know, get the 49ers back for what happened, sending them out of the playoffs last season. I think it will be a, a, a solid game at Lambeau in the afternoon. Packers win that one as well. So that is, what are we talking? Is that, that's nine and two. So I, you can tell how I feel about this Packers team going into 2024. Then we have the Dolphins on Thanksgiving night. This may be my favorite game. Just, you know, a Thanksgiving night game at Lambeau Field. That's going to be an awesome environment. I think it's going to be one of my favorite games to watch. But I'm going Packers win that one as well. I just love the Packers at home. I think they're going to be much better than last season. And the fact that the Packers were, you know, like, what, 6-2 and two in the final eight games last year. I think they're going to build off that. The defense will be better, in my opinion. So we got the Packers sitting at 10-2. and two. I'm pretty sure, unless I got my math wrong. I think that's 10-2. and two. Then at Detroit on Thursday, December 5th, with a second straight primetime game, two straight Thursday night games. This one at Detroit. Even though the Packers, I say win the first one, I say the Lions win this one. So that puts the Packers at 10-3. and three. Still a very good season, you know, up to that point, clearly. Then another primetime game on Sunday, December 15th. Night game, Sunday night football at the Seattle Seahawks. I'm going to say the Packers win that game in Seattle. I think the Packers are a better team. Um, Sunday night in Seattle, Packers win that one. Then another primetime game. So what is that? Is that like four in a row? One, two, three. Yeah, four primetime games in a row at night. This one at home on Monday night football against the New Orleans Saints. I'm going to say the Packers win that one against the Saints, who I'm not too sure about the Saints this year, uh, but I think the Packers are going to pull that one off. So that's... 11, no, 12, what am I at? I think that's 12, 12 wins, 12 and three, very good season. Then we have at the Minnesota Vikings on Sunday, December 29th, I'm going to say the Packers win both their games against the Minnesota Vikings, and so the Packers will be 13 and three, then final game against the Chicago Bears at home right before we head into the playoffs. And I'm giving the Packers another win. So that's 14 and three. That's my prediction. I was going to say 13 and four before I looked at the schedule. But then as I was looking at the schedule, I uh, I found three losses that I thought would happen. And, but that's where, that's where it stopped. That's where it stopped in my mind. Clearly that's much better than last season, nine and eight. But I think that if we see the same Packers we saw near the end of the season, I really do think this is a 13, I mean, 12 to 14 win team. Sure, that's a big range. And I'm taking the, the higher range, 14 and three. And, um... I just think the Packers, I mean, I've talked about what I think about the Packers heading into this season. They're going to be so much, I mean, they're going to be just as good on offense, probably better. And I think a defense is going to take a step forward. And so I think that with what we saw to end the season, this team is going to be one of the best teams in the entire NFL. So that's my prediction, 14 and three. But let me know your thoughts, your record prediction in the comments down below. And if you want more Packers content, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.